unreal. A little makeover. Okay, so this is how the balconies turned out. Morning everyone, welcome to a new vlog. I thought I would do a weekly vlog for something different this week because I have a few updates that I want to share with you guys. So the first thing that's really exciting is that Brayden and I actually went out yesterday to Ikea and finally picked up some outdoor furniture. So I'll share that with you guys a little bit later. We haven't set it up or anything. It's literally just sitting in our lounge room right now. So hopefully if it doesn't rain this afternoon, we can go out and sort that out. But we can't do that until a little bit later because we actually have some plans today. So I'm actually going for lunch with my friend Sam, which will be really nice. And I have had to push it back a little bit because this morning my tummy was not good. I really want to do a first impressions of this product with you guys. So yesterday we went shopping and I picked up two new makeup products. Well, this isn't a makeup product, but it's a beauty product. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Super Glow. And I've heard so many amazing things about this, especially on TikTok. So this isn't a foundation and it's not an illuminator. It's it's a filter. But the other product I picked up is this Laneige lip mask, which I've heard so many people talk about. So it's just a sleeping mask and I got the, sh the shade, not the shade, the scent vanilla. How cool is this little applicator? I really don't know how much I should be putting on. I think I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers because I feel like that way it won't absorb as much product. First impressions, I think this is so, so beautiful. As you can see, it's super radiant on my cheeks. It's so I better get going to meet my friend Sam now, but I'll catch up with you guys later. Tuesday everyone. I didn't pick up the camera yesterday afternoon after I got back from lunch. I actually got back from lunch at like 5 p.m. I just spent all afternoon with my friend Sam. It was very due catch up. It was very nice but because it was late and because it's getting dark so much earlier I decided not to put the outdoor furniture outside. So I'm gonna do it now. It's a shame that it's not really nice weather but all week it's meant to be pretty miserable so I think I should just do it now while it's not raining and just move the furniture out of the lounge room because right now it's just sitting behind me cluttering the space which I really don't like. I'm going to pop it outside in the packaging kind of play around with the placement just to make sure that like we're happy with it and then if we need to return it we can because it's still in the packaging. I have no idea how to pronounce the name of this set. I think it's called Mast Holman. So we got the individual chair, we got the double, and then also a coffee table, which is a really nice, decent size. I've actually got a smaller one as well. I'm not really sure whereabouts exactly we're gonna pop everything because we have options, but this is our balcony. I know I've shared it with you guys before, but I don't know if you've ever had like a good, good look at it. Also, we have my egg chair out here, which I love. This is from Seaweed and Sand, and this is gonna be staying, but that is all we have out here. and. Yeah, it really, really needs a little makeover. package to go through with you guys. In one of my previous vlogs I showed that I ordered a bunch of stuff from iHerb. This isn't sponsored but I just thought I'd quickly show you what I picked up. So we've got some slim satin hair scrunchies which I've been wanting because I've wanted some like small ones that aren't super big but are made of satin because they don't damage your hair as much so I picked up them. I got myself some new Real Techniques makeup brushes. This is just their, is it their Everyday Essentials kit? Then I've got a satin pillowcase and I haven't ever used one of these but I've heard so many amazing things about satin and silk pillowcases because 
it causes less friction on your hair and it overall just makes your skin and hair a lot shinier so i'm excited to try this then i picked up this micro needling derma roller from cosmedia skincare let's open it up and see what it looks like but i've actually just picked up so many random skin devices lately i actually also have a parcel that i accidentally got sent to my family's house which is from amazon and it's an ice roller so that's another random skincare device that i've been influenced to buy how do i open this up so this is it it's just like a little roller with tiny little needles oh it doesn't even hurt i guess if you press it on your face quite hard it must make like little pin pricks and supposedly derma rolling helps the absorption of any products that you use like any skincare products and also helps like boost collagen in your skin so That'll be fun to try. Now for my vitamins and supplements. I've got this collagen and vitamin C tablet from California Gold Nutrition. Then I picked up some omega-3s, a spray vitamin D3, and then finally a melatonin supplement. And apparently the brand Now Foods is a really good vitamin brand. Well, that's what my mum told me because she's actually studying naturopathy. So she was doing a nutrition degree and I swear she's been doing that for so long, like years. And then she was almost done and she decided to stay at uni for a little bit longer and study to be a naturopath. Fun fact, if you didn't know that. So yeah, mum and I love talking about like vitamins and supplements and all that kind of stuff. It's something that we, I guess, bond over. But that's my little haul. Also, I am aware that I haven't really updated you on the balcony since I actually put together the furniture, but it's just been really kind of rainy since then. But I will, of course, give you a proper tour later on in the vlog. But for now, I'm gonna get on with some editing. Today's a big editing day, so I probably won't pick up the camera too much, but that's my plan for my Wednesday. Morning, I'm currently getting ready to have a content day with Jessie today. So got all my outfits behind me. I'm just styling them at the moment. So Jessie and I like to do this every so often and just batch a bunch of photos. It's really helpful just to have some photos in the bank, basically. I'd actually love to get some content for Elements of Presence today. I find it so hard keeping up with that Instagram and obviously my personal brand as well, but I really want to get some photos of a new product that's going to be coming out. <laughs> I also feel like I'm inhaling dry shampoo because I've sprayed so much dry shampoo on my hair and I can like literally taste it in this room. I do actually also have something else coming. Like this launch isn't super big. It's kind of an extension of a product that I already have, but my next launch is something completely different and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It's a much bigger one. Anyway, that's a little elements of presence update. So I'm going to finish getting ready and the Jessie should be here soon. I think we're going to try and take some pics in the apartment and then we might go out and just explore and just catch up because I haven't seen her in ages since she actually had COVID. So we haven't been able to see each other, but she's better now. So we're going to have a big catch up and content day. Hello. You look so cute. Oh my gosh. I know. I miss you. Oh, I want to get makeup on your white shirt. Oh, so well. I feel like you haven't been here in so long. It's been so long. I know. And then that freaking COVID as yeah. well. So it's just How are you feeling now? Ish. <laughs> <laughs> Look back, who it is! I'm back from the dead. She's back. Oh yeah. my gosh. What a few weeks, seriously. How was it? Well, well I feel like in. I've still got like long COVID. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So like yeah. my taste is still gone. I like the exhaustion. No one told me about that. Yeah, so I'm just like And you passed dying. out the other day. I passed out at the dawn service. That's so bad. Just before like the last post. I guess your blood pressure is just I'm like down too. so bad now. I it's, don't know. Yeah, it was like exhaustion, recovering from COVID and also low blood pressure. I probably together. would have done the same thing. You know, it wouldn't be a Jesse and Ella day without getting candy for lunch. I'm a bad influence. We just look forward to it. I know you always go, um, by the way, should we get candy, candy? for lunch? And I'm like, always, absolutely. We both have a mutual love for candy. Yeah. Ella introduced me to candy, so this is the price you pay. Yeah. Aren't you getting a candy platter for your birthday party? Yes. yes. Also, it's Jesse's birthday tomorrow and we're having her party on Saturday. This vlog will go mm -hmm. up after your party. Yes. So, so we're doing like a big pottery night. Yeah. I've rented out like a studio space um, and everyone's just going to eat candy and do pottery. Like, sounds like the what best a combo. time. Honestly, I didn't even know they did platters. I mean, they do, sense, but I've never. Huge actually, platters. Have I tried a candy platter? Party platters. Look how big these are. I mean, maybe we're biased, but I just think they do the best so sushi ever. So You've got filling. a tiger roll. Yes. So this is like their special sauce and then, um, 
chicken and avo. It's unreal. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And then I've got teriyaki chicken mm -hmm. and avocado. spoken to you guys all day and that's because I've been working on elements of present stuff. I've literally been stuck in front of my laptop working on my website all day. It was actually a very, very productive day. And I feel like my launch could be sooner than I thought because I managed to get heaps of photos yesterday with Jesse that I'm really happy with. So yeah, pop them on the website. You guys can't see them yet, but I feel like by the time this video goes live, I will have launched, we will see. Right now I'm actually getting ready because I'm going out tonight to the city to celebrate my friend Joel's birthday. It is actually Jessie's birthday too and I'm gonna be celebrating with her tomorrow. She's just been with like her mom and Geordie today but yeah, I'm really excited to go out and celebrate tomorrow. I'll bring you guys along but also tonight's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, we're heading to the city and I'm gonna meet up with the Disney people and it's gonna be a really, really nice time. So I thought I'd pick up the camera also because I'm about to test out like this little hair hack that I saw on TikTok. So I wanna wear my hair like this, right? So I just wanna have it tucked behind my ears and have like these loose curls in front. This is second day curls and they were also rained on yesterday. So they've really, really fallen out, but I actually quite like the look. So this is how I wanna wear it, but sometimes it's kind of hard to keep it tucked behind my ears. So I saw this hack where you take like a little bunch of hair from the front. I guess you just take the hair that you want to have tucked behind your ear. You just wanna gather it in a bunch, nice and smooth. And then you wanna take one of these hair elastics and tie it in like a little ponytail. Okay, I don't know if I was meant to tie it further back, but then you're meant to like loop it through. So create a little hole, loop it through. Yeah, that goes behind your ear. And then your hair can fall in front like that. So you basically just have the little ponytail tucked behind your ear. I don't know if I like that that much. I'll try again with the other side and see what I think. I'm doing it a little bit lower this time and I think that will be better. Loop it through. Ooh, okay, that actually worked. <gasps> that worked so much better and now my hair's gonna stay like that. I really like wearing my hair like this and sometimes it's a pain. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to the other side. What do you think of that little hair hack? I actually think it worked quite well and I just think it's like convenient just to get like the front bits off your face when you're going out. So yeah, I'm ready to go. Sienna should be here soon and we're gonna drive in because honestly, I feel like I'm over drinking at the moment and I'm happy to drive and it just makes things so much easier later on, but I'm excited to go out. So this is what I'm wearing tonight. This top, actually the whole outfit is from White Fox. I really like it. And then I've got these jeans. If you watched my most recent White Fox haul, you will have seen them, but I actually exchanged them for a size up. So these are a size large and they're so cute. They have this really cool like little detailing on the back, which I really like. So yeah, I feel like they're perfect for this time of year. It's like a really nice dressy pair of jeans. So it's nice to wear like when you're going out in the cooler season. I'm also gonna bring my leather jacket just in case I get cold. And then I've also paired the outfit with some boots. These are just by Winter Smith and this little Glassons bag. And that is my outfit. Also, I'm testing out this like instant tan at the moment by Baddest Bod, which is White Fox's new tanning range. Anyway, I really like it. I put it on and this is literally instant and like, we'll see, I'll test it out tonight and see how I go, but it looks really nice to me. I also, I don't know if this is like a well-known tip or not, but I went over it with translucent setting powder just because I feel like it kind of sets it in place even more, even though you don't need that. It just kind of reassures me that it's like all set in place and yeah, I feel like it kind of like polishes and smooths the skin and it kind of buffs it out just to make sure everything's even. I don't know, I just, I found that tip actually worked really well. Anyway, let me know what you think. I really like this color. Are you gonna sit there? Or what are you gonna do? I'm gonna sit at the smile. No, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about the camera. Oh. <laughs> just wait till this turns off because it always annoys me when like it starts dimming halfway through. Okay, it's not gonna dim. All right, so it's actually the next day. We had a really good time last night. We ended up in Double Bay, which was a mm. bit random. We were gonna go to like North Sydney, but um, they ended up 
in Double Bay, which was actually fun. We went to... Where did we go? What was it called? Uh, Sheaf. We went to this place called the Golden Sheaf and yeah, and then Sienna stayed over and it was just very chill. We actually... Oh, I feel really awkward when people walk past because they can probably see the camera propped up. But I just wanted to whip the camera out just to update you because right now we're about to go for brekkie for Jessie's birthday. We're going to Blackwoods and her mum and her sister are going to be there. So it'll be nice to meet them. It's going to be, yeah, I guess a Jessie day because we've got her birthday party tonight as well. So we're going to, we have Mindful Co in Cronulla and she's hired out the like studio at the back and we're going to be doing clay doing clay i do feel a little bit tired today but mm, i can all hit a slip yeah Not now later yeah i feel like we're just like <laughs> we were saying before we're out of our routine because i think brayden and i like never go out on a friday night which is so sad like we're just well it's not sad but it's just like what we're like we don't really do much so we have our routine you go to jujitsu and then you come home we make dinner like we don't really do mm. anything too crazy so like going out last night has made us feel so strange and we're like it feels like what, another day. What, day. what day of the week is it? Yeah. It doesn't feel like Saturday for some reason. But it was a really fun time. Anyway, we're going to go to breakfast. Bre <laughs> I was going to say brekkie and breakfast at the same time. I said breakfast. <laughs> you should leave it that. Felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a man. That's a really cute photo. I, mean, I went through, I was like, which photo? Did I, I think, think, was so <laughs> this, this I think you guys know me really well. It's like Simba. Yeah. 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 One out. Is this for Simba? <laughs> Okay, so it is Sunday and I've been a crazy, a crazy woman today getting everything done because I decided to launch my new product tonight. Literally, it's going live in five minutes. I was like, I better whip out the camera because I haven't even talked about this yet. So obviously you guys will already know about the Nightly Unwind Planner if you follow Elements of Presence or you follow me on Instagram. But yeah, that's the new product. I'll show you guys what it looks like in a moment. But I've also come out with a bunch of bundles and hampers, which... I'm hoping people will love for Mother's Day, but hopefully you guys really like the products and I do have a bigger launch coming, I mean, hopefully in May, which, oh, I can't wait for that one. Those products that I'll be coming out with are quite different to the ones that I've already released. So yeah, stay tuned. Maybe in this five minutes, I can quickly show you what the Nightly Unwind Planner looks like. So this is the Nightly Unwind Planner. As you can see, it's quite similar to the Daily Reset one, slightly different, but they're meant to be similar because they're a duo that goes together. So the idea is that you guys use this before you go to bed to dump your thoughts, reflect on your day, and you can use all of these prompts to help you out. So we've got what's on my mind, which is a big brain dumping section. So you can write whatever you want. You can free write, you could write a to-do list, your gratitudes. It's just a space for you to dump your thoughts. And then we have highlights from today. Today I'm proud of myself for non-negotiables for tomorrow and tomorrow's wake up time is and then you fill in the blank which I think is a really cool prompt because I actually feel like writing down the time that you're going to wake up is going to make you follow through with it because it's like making a commitment to yourself and then finally we have tomorrow's schedule so I've left this side blank so you guys can fill in the times yourself because everyone's schedule is different and that way you can make it work for you and you can write down your tasks and that is the Nightly Unwind Planner. You can purchase it as a bundle with the Daily Reset or you can purchase it on its own. It's literally two minutes until I've got to deactivate its password. So I'm just going to sit here and look at the time to make sure I don't miss it. So it's actually the next week and I'm about to start a new vlog because I'm actually going to Byron tomorrow. I'm leaving this one, which is going to feel so strange. I'll be away for 
four nights, I think, from four. Thursday till Sunday. Is that right? So I'm going on a trip with my management team, so a bunch of my friends, which I'm really, really excited about. And yeah, I haven't even started packing, so I'm gonna do a vlog and bring you guys along for that. But I just wanted to jump on here quickly because I realized that I haven't actually shown you guys the after of the balcony. So as you will have seen, we've got new furniture, and then since then, I've actually bought some lights. I don't know what to call them because they're not fairy lights. Um, what would you call like they're not lanterns either they're just like outdoor little, little globes i would say globes i went to bunnings and picked them up and they are perfect i feel like it makes it seem like a little oasis out there now i don't know i really really like it so i'll show you what they look like also their solar panel which is really good so we don't need to plug them into the wall or anything and yeah they're charged up now so I guess you'll see what the balcony looks like at night time. These are the globes that we've got, by the way, if any of you guys were wondering, and they were only $22, and I feel like they've made a really big difference to outside. Okay, so this is how the balcony's turned out. Hopefully the road isn't too noisy, but as you can see, we've got the lights along here, which I think is so, so pretty. And then this is how the outdoor furniture looks, which I think turned out so nicely. I actually popped our happy plant out here because I feel like it wasn't getting enough sun in the bedroom and this way it will get a bit of sun and it's also sheltered because we do have like a covering. As you can see, we've still got like empty space here, but that's good for like our washing line. But I thought it would be really cute to maybe get like a little trough or even to make one that we can put plants in or even have like a little herb garden or something. I don't know. I thought that would be cute. So maybe that's an idea. Let me know if you've got any suggestions, but it is quite nice to have a little bit of space for things like uh, washing line. Oh, another thing I'd like to do is to get some cushions for these chairs just because they are a little bit uncomfy when you're sitting on them because they don't have like any cushions behind your back. So I'd like to find some like nice outdoor weather resistant cushions. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Anyway, that's going to be it for this weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and stay tuned for the Byron vlog, which I'll be starting literally straight after this one. But if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.